What's up everyone? This is Cinder. So this is part 2 of Gym Outfits Explained. Today, we will be talking about leg day, leg wear. So if you are serious about lifting weights, then you better be doing your squats and doing your legs. So today, I'm going to be going down to the common leg day pieces that we see men wear in the gyms and explain which one does best in terms of style, performance, and function. Style being how it looks on your body, performance being how it moves along with your body, and function is everything else that comes along with wearing these certain types of leg wear. So if you're interested, keep watching the video. So I know that we see so many kinds of leg wear being worn by men every day in the gym. But I have dialed them down into four categories. The first being basketball shorts. Second being sweats, sweatpants or sweat shorts. We'd also usually see athletic shorts. And of course, compression gear. So let's get down into the details. Starting off, basketball shorts. <sighs> Guys, really? Really? It's 2020 and you're still wearing basketball shorts to the gym. So don't get me wrong, I play basketball too. But guys, they look tacky. <laughs> they're baggy and they're typically very long, below the knee. They just look bad. So keep them out of the gym. <laughs> keep them in the court and you'll be fine. Okay, now that that is out of the way, let's talk about sweats. So we usually see guys wear sweatpants or sweat shorts to the gym. And I get it. They, they look really cool. They look casual. It gives off a vibe that is athletic but not too athletic, you know? So you can use them in the gym and use them to the mall. They also have some pretty good stretch. They're typically warm. So if you live in a hot place, maybe you'd want to stay away from this. They stretch a decent amount so that they give you enough range of motion when you squat. One pet peeve that I have with sweats though is that if you sit down for a long time or if you squat for a few reps, it's gonna make these awkward bulges in the knee and in the butt area, making you look like you have gigantic kneecaps and a really big butt. And no one wants that, so. Also, if you wear everybody's favorite heather gray color and you sweat a lot down there, it's not gonna look great. So keep that in mind the next time you wear sweats, you have been warned. So I would give sweatpants a nine out of 10 in style, seven out of 10 in performance, and 5 out of 10 in function. So next up is my personal favorite, performance athletic shorts. Brands would usually call these tennis or running shorts. They are usually on the short side. So a shopping tip is, you guys have to be careful that you don't get a pair like this. This is a swim trunk. It has stiffer material and most importantly, has zero stretch. So this has no stretch at all. I usually see guys wear this to the gym and this is made for the water, for the beach, not for the gym. There's also another kind of running short. It's made of similar fabric, also has zero stretch. So these were made for running, they're really comfy, but when you squat, you want shorts that stretch a whole lot because you don't want to sabotage your squat technique because of the shorts that you're wearing. You want shorts that stretch a whole lot when you squat and does not bulge after a few reps. So a pair like this would be perfect, really lightweight, stretches a whole lot, very comfortable and also very stylish. Next time you go to the mall, pick up a pair like this one. So this is the only pair so far that I got to squat past the grass. No problems! I give these a 10 out of 10 in style, 9 out of 10 in performance, and 8 out of 10 in function. And last but not the least, we have compression gear. A little side note about compression gear. Athletes like wearing compression gear because it compresses the muscle and the joints. It feels really good if you have tried a pair on, you'd know the feeling of the warmth and the compression that it gives. It makes your joints and muscles feel really good to move around. And it's a very ideal material to wear to the gym. I see so many guys wear compression pants that are three sizes too big and are baggy. So it defeats the purpose of wearing compression pants. Make sure you get compression pants that actually do the job of compressing your muscles. So they should kind of be skin tight. First thing you have to check out is that the compression pants are actually for men. I hope you don't get fooled by those Instagram fit chicks. Compression pants for men 
have a thinner waistband and usually have a really low crotch. Whereas women's compression pants or yoga pants would have a really wide waistband and a high crotch. So again, you have been warned. So there are two kinds of compression pants for men out there. One is this kind, it's really thin. And it kind of looks like underwear because it's actually meant to be worn under a pair of shorts. So if you take that look, this is the kind of compression pants that you want. There is another kind that's out there. It's made of much thicker fabric. They usually have side pockets, a drawstring, and yeah, you guessed it. These were made to be worn alone. So yes, just like your favorite Instagram fitfluencer who wears matching yoga pants and sports bras, we guys, we got them too. Uh, maybe it's not for the faint heart. Maybe you need a little more confidence to pull these off. But I personally wear these all the time. Just make sure that you wear some sort of seamless underwear and a long shirt. You'll be fine. <laughs> if you have gotten over the fear of wearing compression pants in the gym, I give these a 7 out of 10 in style, 10 out of 10 in performance, and 9 out of 10 in function. So that's it for today. I hope you got some helpful tips from today's video. If you like it, hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you will be hitting PRs in your next squat session with some really dope leg wear. So I'll see you all next time. Peace.